Now, uh, this is the way coffee should taste. Um, I love that really, really dark roast. It's just really rich. It makes me think of chocolate mousse. Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics of things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the lifetime blogging. So please check me out. And I'm really pumped up because I had a really, really dark roast, which I haven't had in a long time. However, that was decaf coffee. What's up with me at coffee shops today? I'll tell you what's up. Number one, I just went to the Lenox Mall and I did a little bit of shopping earlier today. And uh, I didn't see anything on sale that I really wanted. Everything that I did want was way out of price for me. So uh, I just grabbed a quick cup of coffee in this brand new coffee shop that used to be a cup cut cake cafe called Sprinkles. And now it's this beautiful coffee shop and I got myself uh, that cappuccino really cheap. And then afterwards, as you can see, I just uh, went and got a new haircut and I'm on my way now to uh, shop at Trader Joe's to get a few things because I'm having a brunch tomorrow. And then, uh, uh, actually that's about it, but I wanted to let you know what that was about. Right now I'm just charging on my phone, then I'm walking down there and then uh, catching uh, transportation home. Uh, anyway, I have some good news and bad news. So the good news is that uh, my Aunt Lois is out of a coma and that uh, they took her off the ventilators and she was able to remain in stable condition and breathe on her own. And she came out of her coma, or so I saw on uh, Facebook. And <laughs> she's trying to sip water, so that's good. So Aunt Lois is a fighter, so she's not going to die or she didn't die. The bad news is that she's not going to be going home. She is going to uh, be in a nursing home with around-the-clock care because she's paralyzed in her right side and uh, she's also uh, has significant brain damage on her left side. There's a fluid in her brain. So uh, my uncle is coming down to handle her situation. But the good news is that Lois didn't die. Um, I'm glad to know that she's a fighter. She's always been a fighter. And she's been in uh, situations where she had the near-death experience because when she was a little girl, she uh, uh, she suffered polio and lived through the polio epidemic. And she pulled through on that, became a walking miracle. Is that drool there? And then uh, she uh, got into a car accident and um, I guess her car wrapped around a tree and she was knocked out. She told me this uh, when I was in the hospital one time uh, in the emergency room. Uh, I'll share that story with you next vlog, but right now I just wanted to share an update with you, so I'm super happy about that. In the meantime, I let her go. I did go see her. I'm glad that she's got the support that she needs. But that doesn't mean that I don't love her. It's just we fell apart and that relationship was very unhealthy and people just grow apart. But I am sad about what happened and I don't think this is a good time for us to uh, see each other. Uh, so I'm still letting her go and I'm still going to be praying for her and everything and hoping for all the best for her. But I'm glad that she made it at least. that uh, 
I've learned about being a day in the life vlogger is that uh, you want to film everything that's going on around you and my thoughts are ooh I want to share that on YouTube like right now I'm sharing with you these um, leftover holiday decorations even though Christmas and New Year's have now passed and yes it's 2019 but um, anyway I wanted to let you know that uh, there's this lingering effect ever since the holidays have passed uh, since New Year's Day it's like I keep expecting for us to have another holiday and I have to realize that the holidays are over and then number two <laughs> it's windy today um, anyway number two um, I keep um, actually there is no number two but anyway I need to get going home now I have had to charge my phone yet again so uh, for the love of me I ended up in my third coffee shop today which was another Starbucks and so I had to get myself something to drink the first coffee shop they didn't have outlets but I uh, had a chance to try their coffee um, I think I'm just gonna call this my coffee vlog or something like that uh, and then the second two they were Starbucks I charged them twice I charged the my phone down at the Starbucks at Georgia Tech and then I charged it again right across from Trader Joe's and I ended up uh, getting into a nice uh, texting session with Nicholas Shega who is also a vlogger like myself um, please be sure to look him up he is hilarious and he is unique and funny uh, we went to high school together at actually not just high school we went to uh, to middle school slash junior high together but boy uh, Nick packs a punch I mean he's funny now and he was really funny when he was in junior high I mean <laughs> Nick would start laughing about random things like one time he wrote down the word monkey and started laughing about it when we were in the eighth grade um, I went to put something away and I came back and the next thing you know Nick was just bursting out laughing because I uh, some reason or another and I, what are you laughing about he goes I'm laughing at the word monkey on here anyway be sure to check him out he is again super funny um, if you like what I'm doing subscribe to my channel and be sure to check me out on social media Twitter Instagram Facebook I have uh, the links in the descriptions below also be sure to check out my written blogs on wordpress.com I'm trying to get those off the ground. They are scholarly, practical application. And then I write reviews on different books uh, that are published, The Future Horizons, and their autism-related books. Uh, please be sure to check that out. I uh, wrote a bunch of things on a uh, autism conference that I went through, and uh, it was a blast. Uh, Temple Grandin was there. She was uh, just as funny as ever, and she was also helpful with, with me on some things. and. Um, Anyway, Happy New Year. Until next time, I'm Maya, and I'm signing off. Bye.